Yeah, obviously last season was a bit of a write-off for me. I mean, the sort of problem started at the end of the season before and sort of dragged on throughout the summer and I tried to get through pre-season with it and I sort of managed to get through, but then I sort of broke down around like September time and ended up having an operation then. And, you know, it didn't really sort of solve the problem and I was sort of struggling through the season, having a lot of injections, sort of trying to get back, but, you know, I just could never get it right. And so I ended up having another operation at the end of the season. And, um, so yeah, that's meant I've had to sort of be in over the summer. But, um, you know, I, I just need to, you know, get myself as fit as I can now for next season. And, um, you know, sacrifice in the summer, that's just, you know, part of it. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm starting to feel, you know, a little bit better now, so... You know, I've got to try and just keep working hard and I'm hoping to be back, you know, quite early into pre-season and fingers crossed can have an injury for a year this year and um, kick back on again. Tell us a little bit about, about the injury. It was one of those real niggly ones that just, just wouldn't go away. Yeah, it's, to be honest, like, I still couldn't tell you exactly what, you know, the cause of it was and, you know, the physio would say the same thing. We've tried, we've tried everything and... Uh, yeah, I think the area that sort of is sort of like my sort of lower abdominals and groins, and it's a quite a sort of tricky area to sort of pinpoint exactly what the what's causing the problem, and that's sort of you know what's been the struggle. But um, you know, bit by bit, we've tried to you know I've been strengthening up now, and you know I'm starting to feel you know stronger again, and you know I might not ever you know feel you know 100% of it sort of in the near future, but you know if I can get back. You know, be able to get through without um, you know the pain that I was having before, and then you know bit by bit, I hope that throughout the course of the year it will you know gradually disappear, and that's what people say that you know should happen eventually. So, um, so yeah, I'm you know trying to keep positive and looking forward to the season now. What sort of work have you been doing in the gym here? Um, yeah, it's been quite a, you know similar stuff to what I've been doing all year to be honest. So it's you know mentally it can get you know quite boring sometimes but um you know a lot of strengthening stuff sort of core wise glutes groins um and you know too much time on the bike but um but yeah i've uh you know it's it's, it's all got to be done and um you know as i say i'm starting to feel stronger now and you know the physios have you know worked really hard with me and um you know i've got quite close to them all now so but um but yeah hopefully this year i can distance myself from them and you know get back with the boys on the pitch so yeah Got a bit of company uh, this, this week, I think, with the likes of Sean and Ben and Lloyd Doyle as well. Was that this uh, helps uh, light brighten the mood a bit to have a bit of company? Here? Yeah, definitely. You know, when you're on your own, so, yeah, mentally it is it is very tough, and you know, I only sort of got a week off this this summer. So, you know, when you're in every day, it does get you, you know, kind of get a bit down. So it's nice to have other boys in, and obviously last year, you know, Joel was injured for a lot of it as well. So. You know, obviously, we don't wish people to be injured, but if you're going to be injured, it is nice and you've got someone sort of going through it with you. And, you know, was, you know I was doing a lot of sort of work with Joel last year as well, so that was um, that was nice as well, yeah. I guess pre-season for, for footballers is a time perhaps that might not necessarily look forward to, but I guess you just can't wait to get started again. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be tough and, um, you know, I'm probably going to have to, you know, be careful, try and manage myself through. So hopefully, you know, I won't have any sort of setbacks again, but... Um, but yeah, I just can't wait to get back out, you know, to play football again. I mean, you know, I got back training for parts of last season towards the end. And, you know, it was great to be back out with the team. But, um, yeah, I still was sort of struggling through. And as nice as, you know, it's to be, it is to be out there when you have that pain, it's just, it can get, you know, mentally, it really does sort of take a toll. So, you know, I'm hoping this time, you know, I can, you know, like by, by feeling better, I can sort of push back on again and, um just you know, enjoy sort of the football again and, um, and then, yeah, hopefully push back on and get myself back in the team and have a good year. Fixtures are out, and Southampton away and then some rather tasty looking home fixtures to start off with as well. The likes of Arsenal, Chelsea and Manchester United first up. Um, that just whets the appetite a little bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, no, obviously it's, um, you know, every game is a massive game in the Premiership, but, you know, if they don't get bigger than, you know, the start we've got and, you know, it's going to be a... It's definitely going to be a tough, you know, first six weeks of the season. But, um, you know, you've got to play the teams eventually. And, you know, why not get them, you know, get them teams early? You know, it could be good, you know, before they sort of start getting a run together. So, um, so yeah, no, it's very exciting. And, um, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. And, you yeah, know, can't wait for it to get going now.